Hello everybody, this is lovely Leisha. This is actually my first video. I'm a new rider and today was the first time I actually got out to ride in traffic. I actually ride a 2007 CBR 600, which is right there. It's my baby. Um, that's what I usually ride around my subdivision and, you know, I got comfortable with prior to taking the uh, motor vehicle class at the Harley Davidson School. Um, today, however, I got on my boyfriend's R1, which is a leader bike. Um, some pointers for new riders. If you've been practicing on a particular bike, I would advise, especially for your first ride out in traffic, to stay on that bike that you're most comfortable with, that you've become familiar with. I didn't do that. Um, I, for some reason, I wanted to try his bike. That was the wrong idea. So, one of the things that I realized is, you know, going from a 600 to a leader bike, that's a lot of power for a new rider, honestly. And some people may say no, depends on the rider, all of these other things. But again, that's my opinion. I would advise stay within the smaller realm, 600, maybe sevens, something like that. Um, but I got out on the road and I stalled out twice, even though I took my class. Know about, you know, maneuvering between the throttle, the clutch. I still stalled out. Um, but I regained my composure and I rode. Um, the other thing is, is that when I was turning, <laughs> I learned in the class that you have to look in the direction that you are going. So look into the, look into the curb, look into your turns. I didn't do that for some reason, which almost got me in an accident, like actually off the road. But thankfully enough, it kind of got back into my mind that you have to look into your look into your turn and that's what I did and I was able to regain getting back where I needed to be on the road. So again, just a couple of new things for, you know, a couple of tips for new riders. Make sure you're on a bike that you're most comfortable with, that you've been practicing on. If you can stay within the realms of a, you know, lower level bike, the 600, you know, I would advise that. Um, and then also again, making sure that if you do stall out when you get on the road for the first time, don't freak out. Don't panic. It doesn't matter if there's a whole bunch of cars behind you. It happens to the best and so it happens to the worst. Just get back on track and you'll be fine. All right, more videos to come as I go through my new role of being a writer. All right, take care, everybody.